When you love your job but hate your boss, just make them the evil villain. Shueisha Incorporated Executive Director. So devious. So villainous. <laughs> they are evil. So, uh, I'm with you on this one, Horikoshi. Well played. What's up? It's Truth Hero, and welcome back to another My Hero Academia chapter review. Today, we'll be discussing Boku no Hero Academia chapter 223 of the manga, and man do we have a lot to talk about in yet another fire chapter from Horikoshi. Everything from Gigantomachia's abilities to Garan's fingers, or lack thereof, re Destro's plan for the Special Abilities Liberation Army against the League of Villains, and of course the possibility of an all-out villain war. That's right. Not just a battle, not just some street fight, but an all-out war. Let's dive in. I just gotta start this review by posing one simple question. How strong is Gigantomachia, or Gigantomachia, however you pronounce his name, Giga? This guy is insane. He can fight for 48 hours and 44 minutes straight, then take a 3 hour nap, and repeat this process for an entire month? I know they said he was superhuman, but even in a quirk-filled society, that's crazy. I mean, how does he function on three hours of sleep? And when does he eat? And when does he go to the bathroom? Probably has some big turds. I have famously huge turds. I love that throughout the battle with the League of Villains, we're getting slight clues and hints into what his quirks could be. We know that he can hold multiple, and now we learn that he has heightened senses like smell and hearing, and that even if you attacked him in his sleep, he'd know. So. With this knowledge, besides things that enhance strength and size and speed, what do you guys think some of Giga's quirks are? Let me know down below in the comments. During this battle, Shigaraki, the future king, is getting destroyed. He's getting his ass handed to him and just beaten down by Gigantomachia. But despite this, he doesn't stop smiling. And this is so cool. Horikoshi has used smiles to signify things throughout My Hero Academia. There's All Might and Shimura Nana, who smile even when they are scared so that they can tell everyone in need, it's alright, I am here. There's Aerie's smile, showing her progress in healing and her return to innocence as a kid. Peep my Aerie philosophy video if you want to learn more about that. And then there's the villain smiles, normally an evil smile like the one on Redestro, still not sure how I feel about that name, but the grin on Shigaraki is a bit different. It's like a boy chasing his dreams. This shows us that Shigaraki has found a purpose and a way to rally the League of Villains into action. Spinner can stop doubting him. He's ready to be king. He can taste his dreams coming true, and with that twisted heart and evil conviction, he won't stop until he achieves them. Now all he needs is some serious help from doing Gigantomachia. And just how exactly will Shigaraki and the League of Villains tame Gigantomachia when the Special Abilities Liberation Army just calls with a message about a hostage in the middle of all this? Before we talk about Redestro, let's actually talk about Toga for a second, because she's pretty funny in this chapter. As the League of Villains are scraping by, she uses what little money they do have to buy a coat. And when Shigaraki's getting beat up by Gigantomachia, she says, Oh, look, the future king is getting his ass kicked. Man, her and Twice are a real pair. Yes, pun intended, but I do ship them. And then, there's of course Twice's joke when Redestro calls. New phone, who dis? Poor Garan, being held hostage and tortured like that. But seriously, Garan's a badass. I would have just sold out the members immediately. Here you go. I can't lose my fingers, alright? I need those, okay? Sorry friends, I'm not that loyal. Redestro. What an awesome villain. I'm not too sold on his name, but what an awesome character. We have this sophisticated type of villain. He's sipping wine while he's torturing someone. He's not some 20-something who had a tragic past and now has accepted the path of evil like Shigaraki. He's not some criminal with a twisted sense of justice like Stain. This has American organized crime vibes to it. We had the Yakuza, which was the Japanese organized crime, and now we have the mob or evil CEO type of villain. I love that Horikoshi is doing this. There's also this facade of good. The four characters that are featured from the Special Abilities Liberation Army are shown to be executives in companies and have high-ranking positions, even upstanding members in their community. But under the surface, there's an evil. A very 
methodical evil. They take each one of Garan's fingers and place it at a site where the League of Villains committed a crime. What a way to taunt an organization. And also, the fingers form the gesture of the Liberation Army. Pure, methodical evil. And I love it. What's really interesting here is the plot that Redestro has against the League of Villains. He and the Liberation Army believe that people should use their quirks to 100% potential with no government regulation. And the League of Villains is like, yeah, those are sort of our ideals too. So we don't have to work together, but why are we enemies? And the only thing I can think of here is that the League of Villains, in using their quirk to 100% potential, have only used it for crime and destruction, which gives no regulation and liberation a very bad name in the eyes of the people. However, I question Redestro's stance because post-liberation, how do you expect to control everyone when there's no regulation? If people can freely use their quirks, someone's bound to use it for evil. But alas, Redestro just says, bow down, become tinder for us to light the beacon of liberation with. Choose your death. You can either die in our hands or at the hands of the heroes. Choose wisely. Speaking of dying in the hands of heroes, Redestro says that we would have all these pros on you the minute you stepped out of line. Endeavor, Edshot, and even Hawks. And this is the curious one because would Hawks actually be against the League of Villains? Now, I did a video on this explaining that he's not the traitor of UA, but that he could be a traitor in him playing a double agent. But while Dobby is off trying to find new members that probably won't help them fight all these soldiers that Redestro has, what if Hawks joined the League of Villains against the Liberation Army? Or what if the Liberation Army and all their soldiers became so strong that we had a team up between the League of Villains and professional heroes? And maybe Hawks is the one to work this out. 116,000 plus soldiers all ready to go? I know Redestro said that they've been planning this for generations, but how in the heck do you amass that many people? I'm thinking, there's something more to these lifestyle support items from Detnarak Co. Sure, they might help people control their quirks, but what if there's a mind control device implanted in them, and all the Liberation Army has to do is flip a switch, and they suddenly have thousands of people under their control, all fighting for liberation. We've seen them give them out to common street thugs, and while Bakugo and Todoroki made sure that they didn't do anything, it was a normal fight. If they have this many people, the League of Villains, they're gonna need some Nomu. But luckily, now that we have the Doctor, they have some high end Nomu. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know down below in the comments how the hell did Destro amass this many soldiers? And once Shigaraki tames Gigantamachia and the League of Villains confronts Destro, how are they going to fight this literal liberation army? And, uh, are y'all ready for a villain war arc? I know I am. If you like My Hero Academia content and these manga reviews, consider enrolling at UA today by clicking the subscribe button down below. And until next time, plus ultra. Free.